Division fight. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, Ladies here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so match your clothes, not fight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets caught with that push. Nice counter left hook to the head. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Big 
big ball from Crush Land. Now we get back to range. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Good work getting in the way of that knee. Nice one, two there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Big punch land. Attempts the front kick there. Two minutes to go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. One minute. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope the fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Ooh, big shot land. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice body kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Now he's got the Muay Thai plus. Oh, nice. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Nice strike. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Muay Thai plump. Unable to connect with the right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick.
while defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off him by blocking all these attacks. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. What a body kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up. Keep moving. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high ball. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Not there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, he's hurt. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Lee. starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Great punch landed with so much power. Keep busy, keep busy. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big knee oh, lands there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice kick. 30 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds. Very tricky when he throws that body. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish.
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Real nice body kick land. Nice loose punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Liver kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Shots landing on both sides here. Big body kick. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Kick to the body, that one blocked. Under a minute now to go. Lee gets hit with a kick. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.